hello everybody and welcome to my channel this is Leslie thank you so much for joining me today and I am back with another layout for the Just Neck design team and today I am making a layout with the cut file doily 2 and it is available right now in the cut shop in the in, in the shop so you are welcome to go ahead and go and visit the shop there and there you see I've just put the cut file on a on a dark piece of paper so that you can see how gorgeous that cut file is and it is a beautiful doily and the photo that I'm going to be using is of me and Lucy and this was taken in November last year it's just a little snappy of me and my girl the collection that I'm going to be using is from a jelly bean soup and it's called Garden Harvest. It's a new collection from Jelly Bean Soup and it is absolutely beautiful and I love those flowers and you saw there that I just showed you the one uh, floral sheet and I went ahead and fussy cut uh, those flowers out and yeah it took me a while but I love fussy cutting you know that so um, I fussy cut all the flowers on that sheet. So the idea that I had with this was to make the cut files sort of the the main um you know sort of uh element that dictated how everything else would 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 go onto onto the page and i didn't want to cover up the cut file i wanted everything and all that color sort of underneath the cut file so that you could see the cut file a little bit better and i'm going to be doing this a couple of times where i just place the flowers randomly behind the cut file and so on and then I take it off and then I go ahead and I do it again and then I take it off and, and it happens quite a few times and I just I see now that my my recording is a bit off <laughs> the um the bottom of my layout is cut off so sorry about that it happens hey eh? but anyway so I had this idea of doing a teensy tiny bit of of mixed media on the background and I will be doing that later I had this idea of using of just backing that center sort of star shape inside of 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 the doily and I'm just going to be backing that and um, I love the blue the very dark blue and in the photo Lucy is wearing a dark blue little little baby romper thing <laughs> so and um, I'm not going to make you watch the the backing. You all know how backing goes. And there you see I have backed the inside of the of of that doily. And um, I'm not going to be backing the rest of the of the cut file um, because I want that sort of. I love the white on white effect that it it gives and the teeny tiny little shadow that it leaves. Um, on the on the white background paper so I am going to be as I said be doing some um, mixed media on the back it's really not not a lot I'm just going to be using my Heidi swap color shine just to sprinkle some some butter um, that's the the yellow color it's called butter and I'm just going to be using that to sprinkle on some now what I'm doing here is I'm just placing my fussy cut flowers randomly behind the photo and the cut file uh, that you know that uh, so that it looks appealing okay so here I'm going to be doing the splatters and um, in the end it really looks really nice now I did bring the cut file back a couple of times just to see if I needed more splatters and in the end I I did add quite a lot more of the of the yellow um, to the edges of the paper I didn't need to add it to the center of the paper as the backed piece of the cut file would be over that piece and you wouldn't in any case be able to see the 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 splats in any case and the reason why I chose yellow was because of the beautiful yellow accents in the collection and they work perfectly well so so yes now it does this video does seem to be a bit um, uh, tedious uh, stretched out if, if you know what I mean usually I can um, fast forward my videos four times but I don't know what's wrong with my 
my my software if um the, the last couple of days if i do do it if i speed it up four times it's very jerky um and i really don't like that so this is sped up not even twice as um as fast as it's <laughs> As it was to begin with so um, I'll see if I can sort that out um, but anyway so uh, <laughs> um, that's why it's taking a little bit longer and it's a bit for my liking I like fast paced you know if, if I get the gist then I want the you know I want the movie uh, the movie the video clip to to go along with it you know to get a move on but anyway so there you go that's the basic gist of what I am going to be doing uh, with those little fussy cut bits and as I said it did take me quite a while to fussy cut now I just did this um, over a couple of evenings um, I would come sit at my at my craft table and didn't know what to do and I wasn't inspired to do anything so I just took this page out and started fussy cutting it without having an idea of what I wanted to do with it so you can always just do that. If you feel like doing something crafty, but you're not inspired to really create something, then just get a sheet out that you can see that, you know, would require some fussy cutting and just fussy cut all of them and store them in a little baggie and then um, and then use it on a later date. And this is exactly what I did with this. So I know this collection is still available in the paper issue shop. Now, I'm not a... Uh, um, uh, part of the design team of the paper issue shop anymore so I can't give you my code my discount code but I know if you use the code friends um, I think it's friends 20 or friends then you can get 20% off your purchase but anyway so yeah I'm not part of there anymore but I know that the paper issue shop still has this collection so so anyway that is going to be it. I'm just going to be gluing everything down now. And um, I am going to be backing the front, oh, not the front, the center of that cut file. I will be backing with, um, with some foam, with some double-sided foam or some craft foam rather. Really, I am tired. <laughs> I'm going to be backing it with some craft foam just so that the doily stands up a bit from the white background. I'm not going to be backing any other parts of the doily. Um, I like the, 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 the sort of, the way that it just sort of hangs off the, off the craft foam. So, and there you go. I'm just going to be using a lot of that. And I know some people use, um, their, uh, tape runner to run glue, um, on the craft foam I I haven't used that yet I'm it's a bit it's a bit expensive <laughs> for me to use my tape runner for for everything but I've used the craft oh, <laughs> I can't talk today I've used <laughs> my wet glue for for my, for all of my craft foam stickage <laughs> where I stick things to it so um so yes, yeah, so and I haven't had any problems with it so far. And um, as you can see, I'm really just randomly spacing those little twigs and leaves. And you can see they're very intricate. So it did take me a while to fussy cut. But as I said at the beginning of the video, I really, really love fussy cutting. So it's not it's it's not a labor for me. It's an it's it's a joy for me. So um, for those of you who like fussy cutting, um, you'll know what I you know, you'll know what I mean with with that. And um, I have a very nice pair of scissors as well. It's those, um, you'll see them on the top right hand of the screen. It's those little uh, fussy cutting scissors from Tim Holtz. And they've got a very nice rubbery, rubbery um, bit that you hold in your hand. So your fingers don't get stuffed up. <laughs> I've had other scissors and um, they've got hard, hard bits and um yeah your thing my fingers just oh man they ruin your fingers and this I found have not ruined my fingers whatsoever so as part of the collection you get like a little um washi washi tape I think you get three or four of those little sheets and I'm just going to be taking out the little elements these um the flowers and the butterflies 
and I think hearts there's a heart as well in there that I'm going to be yeah there you go so I'm just going to be scattering them I am going to pull them up and put them in a different space I didn't like the fact that it was going out beyond the border of the doily um, I wanted the the doily border so like um, to be the to be the sort of the edge the border the <laughs> the containing edge of the layout um, so so yes and I'm going to be taking those little butterflies off and just sticking them on the um, inside of the of the doily oh I am going to be putting some hearts on the outside excuse me oh well and there Lucy wakes up from her morning nap <laughs> So you are going to hear a very unhappy baby for the next couple of minutes. But I will be attending to her soon. I've just got one minute left of talking to you guys. <laughs> so um, <clears throat> for my title, I thought of using um, that uh, those, those stickers or those um, foam stickers that comes in the collection and I love that little title that says you and me and it fits perfectly right there in beside the photo it just looks perfect and I am going to be using my t-square ruler just to line up the letters and um, uh, just so that it's all nice and lined up I don't think I used a t-square ruler to line up my photo so that was all <laughs> if it's skew just you know chill about it <laughs> it's okay it's only a scrapbook page so <laughs> this is it for this layout um hop onto the just nick design shop and you can go and see and have a gander at her beautiful new cut files and i hope to see you soon please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you can know exactly when i post a new photo bye